Good morning. Good morning. So I have the pleasure of talking to one of my favorite people always, Louise Phillips Forbes from Halstead Real Estate. Thank you so much, Spence. We did this about a year and a half ago at the, at the last conference. So I wanted to ask you today, what have you seen from 2017 to 2018 that seems different in both the commercial marketplaces and in the real estate uh, residential market? What's trending today? Listen, I think we are experiencing finally the resetting of our market and that the traction and the sense of urgency buyers liquidated in that first quarter of 2017, but we still had a pause button. And today it's lifted in all sectors. Townhouse market's still lagging, but from four million down, the interest rate driven buyer is on the move. And that's where I'm seeing 22 transactions in two months. You know, you always give me these numbers, and I know that they're valid, but it's it's astounding how you can go through most markets. What I'm finding in the residential marketplace today is that there are a lot of different markets, a lot of sub-markets, versus one big buyer's market, one big seller's market, because Absolutely. what I'm saying, we see some over-asking price bidding wars, and we see some stuff lingering on the market for a couple of months. Do you see that? Absolutely. So what we're also experiencing is pent up desire. So people's confidence in pulling the trigger, they felt that there was still going to be a drop in the market, which we did experience. And the Uber luxury is still is now moving because of the trickle effect in the market. When you're buying a selling a smaller apartment to buy a bigger one, when you don't have a buyer, you can't pull the trigger for most New Yorkers. I also think that there is, you know, the technology scene has really shifted to where our 1990s buyer, which we would call the Wall Streeter, is now the tech guy. So today's Wall Streeter from the 90s is literally our, our tech guy. Speaking about Wall Street, before we get into commercial, what are you seeing with the bonuses this year? Are they as uh, fast and furiously buying? Are they as robust as they were supposed to be? What are you seeing in your business? They had a, stupend they had a stupendous year on bonuses. However, you got to remember the shift of trying to hold on to their employees by less cash, more stock, and that vested stock is taking three years to vest. It's complicated, but the market's already adjusted to it. I'm reading a lot about Bitcoin these days. Are you hearing any Bitcoin deals in real estate? You know, my, my husband, we've made a, a good $11,000 on, on, on our Bitcoin investment. Um, but I think that it's the blockchain Bitcoin concept is going to be really a currency that we're really going to see. It'll, be, it'll take a while for human behavior to really respond to it, but I think we're going to see a lot of that. I, I happen to agree. Let's talk commercials. So you're sitting on a panel this afternoon all about commercial stuff. The genius of everything. Tell us what you're going to talk about. Well, I, I mean, I'm grateful that I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm representing the girl scene because I'm the, only, I'm the only woman on the panel and I'm excited and honored to be representing also the, the only residential person on this panel. So all developers, whether you're residential or commercial are responding to what's happened in the last decade of our tech scene. A 158% surge in the transactions for venture capital money, 158%, and that's, that's almost two times more than Silicon Valley's growth. That being said, you know, the absorption and new boundaries because uh, of where buyers will live has shifted. That's part of what our explosion that we're experiencing in Brooklyn is. It's kind of exciting. So overall, how would you sum up where we are so far today from January through April in 2018? Does it meet your expectations or are you sort of still waiting for those expectations no, no, to come no. through? We, this is what we've been waiting for. I mean, buyers are off the fence and they are pulling the trigger and they are excited and confident to make the next 10 year investment, whether it's buying a townhouse buying a place in Brooklyn or even Harlem and we have all kinds of neighborhoods that have just are exploding and it's really exciting. As always, Louise Phillips Forbes, Hallstead Real Estate. Nice to Thank see you. you my